everyone, Steven Donziger took another big hit this week, September 2nd. Steven Donziger is the lead plaintiff lawyer in the long-standing lawsuit he established against Chevron because it purchased Texaco, which he alleges polluted oil in the Amazon, when in point of fact, Texaco was in partnership with the country of Ecuador and was a minority owner in something called Texpet, the profits of which were mostly consumed by the country of Ecuador, and then Ecuador basically got out of the business, or arguably was forced out of the business, business in 1989 and pulled out altogether in 1992. Chevron did not purchase Texaco until 2001, but inherited this problem. Don Ziger, in court last year, actually beginning in 2011, was sued for violations of RICO, the Racketeer Influence Corrupt Organizations Act, originally established between 1961 and 1968. Stephen Don Ziger, Pablo Fajardo, and a number of other defendants in the case all lost in a judgment that was announced on March 4th of 2014, if memory serves. H5 Consulting in San Francisco had a 1.25% stake in the $9.5 billion judgment, which originally was $19 billion by the Ecuador court, but Judge Kaplan in New York found that because of the fraud that went into the gathering of evidence that led to the Ecuador court's decision, that decision should have been vacated and would not be recognized around the world because of its fraudulently achieved nature. So, H5 withdrew its interest and gave all of its assignments to Chevron on September 2nd. Had this fraudulent judgment went through and was recognized, H5 Consulting would have received $118 million. It's a great chunk of change. Now, where does this stand? Well, first of all, H5 had a huge role in this. They not only had the 1.25% stake in the judgment, it was because they got Burford Capital a United Kingdom-based company that invests in litigation involved in the Chevron Ecuador issue, and also James Russell DeLeon, a Gibraltar-based business person involved as well. They both have since taken themselves out of this picture. There's still a long way to go in this situation, but that is an enormous hit. And these cards in this house of cards that Don Zicker has built for himself are coming down one by one, but as a tall house of cards, because he's been at this for his life. This is his life's work to do this. But does it mean that he's correct? And the answer is no. But what happens is, like anything, if you get involved in something and you see a huge reward at the end of your work, you're going to believe everything you do in pursuit of that judgment. That award is right, even if it's wrong. And that's Don Ziga's problem right now. I'll come back with another video with more analysis. But right now, H5 Consulting, H5 Data Analysis, San Francisco, is out of the Chevron Ecuador picture.